All right, so mental L. Um, Bianco gun, bit of a restock there. Akito, mm, no Beyblade though. Coming over to Marvel, we got Iron Man, of course, and nothing else, yikes. Yeah, Marvel not doing so great for the past uh, like year or so. Check that out, that is just sad, guys. That's just empty. All right, so G.I. Joe, we got Iron Grand Years. Look at that, look at all those accessories, guys. Come on, that is cool. Still got a mud and junkyard hanging out down here. We got a Princess Moana. We got some old school fright features over there. Uh, let's see, Power Rangers, there's nothing really. We got the Bizarro and Bad Sorrow two pack right there. We do have a regular looking Batman, kind of nice. We got, oh, what's this one? I don't know what version that is. That seems to be the bat flick over there. Plenty of Batman around. Okay, this Necron still hanging out after like six months or so. Uh, down there, I don't really see anything else. And it looks like Transformers has not hit a restock yet. Come on, guys. Tight guest section. Uh, let's check out this Hot Wheels. We got the Ghost over here. We got the N1. Oh, we got cell going on. Ghosts. Ghost, no chase though. Snow speeder, snow speeder. Whoops, almost dropped something. Caught it though. And oh, check it out. We got the gauntlet. All right, score. Finally, something new. Jumping over to the other side of Al. Oof, we got a. Uh, yeah, I don't. We don't. We don't got a lot. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys, uh, I think those uh, wrestling figs are new, or they're new to me. Uh, over here we got an army of Andro for some reason. Uh, TMNT, yeah, hardly anything. We do have some Mega Minions, I don't think I've seen those. Still got a multi-pack for the Turtles animated movie, a little bit of Godzilla vs Kong. Uh, Jurassic World has 20% off, if you can find it, because there's practically nothing out here. That is cool. Classic retro uh, JP93, and then uh, this very cool scene from Jada, and that big Indoraptor. I think that is gonna do it, honestly. All right, Funko next section. Let's dive right in. Got plenty of Funkos. We got a Super Saiyan Vegeta uh, on a target. We got that Batman from McFarlane. We got some Funkos, of course. Um, not seeing much new. We got some BD Pops for minions. Uh, that one is for, oh, that's cool, for Lord of the Rings. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, NECA figures are not that much, really. Do have an X-Men 97 Magneto hanging out back there. Mm, yeah, I don't really see anything, anything new. Just kind of hoping for new Beatty Pops for uh, Star Wars, but I don't think we got uh, any new, really. The troopers were here at the Walmart over on uh, Culebra, so let's see what we got. Okay, first half of the toy aisle. A little bit of Transformers. Um, I don't think I see anything that looks super, super new. Um, I still love this packaging, by the way. But you guys let me know down in the comments if I am missing something that just came out. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure. What about this scrap hip? Scrap heap, I'm sorry. Star Scream, the best. I think I think he might be newer. I don't remember him. Uh, but we got some Godzilla Kong. A little bit more merch. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is cool. I've always liked this G.I. Joe's uh, classified on card. We got Ricondo. I don't know that I've seen him on a card. Pretty cool. It's probably still Walmart exclusive, so we'll see how that goes. The previous ones didn't do too great. Um, we do have some more figures for Godzilla vs. Kong. I think they got a sort of a restock. Moving over to TMNT. Uh, yeah, we still got quite a bit of product here. Um, I don't think it's selling that great, to be honest with you guys. Uh, we got the Turtle Band. We got uh, a little bit of clearance going on. Okay, that's good, you know, start getting out there. 20 bucks for that battle pack. Not too bad, I guess. It's probably gonna get lower though. Uh, we do have these, uh, what is this, statue? Oh, this is cool, you get to build a little diorama with all four brothers. Kind of like that. 
Uh, we got some more clearance down here with the vehicles. All right. Makes sense. Let's start making some space, right? For something new. Marble, not looking great as usual. Um, kind of do like this big Venom, though. What do you guys think? I know it's kind of basic, but it's, it's a nice, beefy figure. Uh, let's see. Any Marvel Legends? That is going to be a no for Marvel Legends. All right. We do have a little bit of clearance going on here. Some of the play sets, and we got a baby T Rex down there. But yeah, looks like we don't really have anything new. Jumping over the second side of the aisle, uh, we do have some dinos. Epic Evolution says here, New Vinovator, kind of like that. Regaliceraptors, these little ones, Dilophosaurus. I think we do have some new stuff then. I don't remember this plushies, we've got some new eggs, we got some uh, epic attacks down there some bigger epic evolutions so yeah it kind of looks like we are uh, getting some new stuff for Jurassic World we got this very cool um, Batman Batmobile I guess they're re-releasing them because it's been a while since I've seen them which leads us into DC we got some Nightwing Vampire very very cool gold label of course uh, looks like we got quite a few of them uh, ah, here are the Marvel Legends hiding out here with the DC folks. Okay, that's all right. We got some clearance, Selena Kyle, unmasked. Looks like we got Invisible Jet down there. We got some Batman 66, Bat Cycle, Batmobile from Superpowers. Uh, we got the Blue Beetle. That's kind of cool. We got Kilowog. Look at that. That's nice. We got this, uh, what is this, Japanese Batman? I'm not entirely sure up with the colors anyway coming over to star wars of course we do have some kai brystar and speeder uh, on clearance uh looks like these guys are starting to go on sale as well wouldn't mind picking up some of these it's vader for it's dropping a couple bucks down uh also the stormtrooper looked okay so that might be a pickup if they go any lower i just kind of want to see what the quality of the figure is do have some helmets some mando helmets down here we got some plushies uh, coming over for uh, Vintage collection we got Ahsoka of course we got Lando we got Fennec Shen mm, What do we got back here Lando and Ahsoka all right coming over to black series. What is this? Paz Vizla again. It's a good figure. It's just this is like the fourth Release of it Mandalore mines of Mandalore with the Darksaber. We got some Ander uh, stuff over here uh, oh, look at this. Hot Wheels on clearance. See, I know it's only a couple bucks, but I've never seen them on clearance. So, if we find uh, like a destroyer or something, we might pick that up. Can never have too many destroyers. Now, this, this is what I keep hoping they put on clearance. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. I know I've seen uh, some hunters finding them a little bit cheaper, you know, like maybe like 10 bucks cheaper. But uh, yeah, if we could get that like half off, definitely pick that up. I already have them, by the way, but I just kind of want more. <laughs> it's never enough, right? Coming over to wrestling. Oh, looks like we got a good restock of wrestling here. We got the uh, the dueling uh, Harley Quinns here. Sorry, I don't know who they are, but hey, it's a two-pack. Um, we got some smaller figs here. I don't know that I've seen this before. They're kind of cool. All right. Oh, and we got the ring for those. Okay. Very nice. Got a couple of belts out here check that out we got the proton blaster we got the the rock uh, fam we got the turtles of gray skull moss man out in force gosh i love this packaging and these figures are really pretty i gotta be honest with you i'm not so much into the mashup but they do look great look at these colors with ram man that is very very cool we got scarlet on a card we got duke on a card all right so we're getting some more uh, G.I. Joe's, we got Tila Cartoon Collection, huh, I don't know that I've seen that label before, we got Masterverse, we got the Sorceress Tila, okay, and I think that's gonna do it on this side, other side of the aisle, um, let's see, what do we got, we got some Super Mario, we got some Donkey Kong, we got Super Monkey Ball and Streets of Rage, very cool, we do have a link up there, and it looks like several links, I'm kind of hoping they put out more of that collection, I, I kind of liked it. Uh, some Sonic, of course. We do have 
uh, some Among Us, we do have some Minecraft. Mm, let's see, what else, what else? We got some Pudgy, we got some Poppy, we got some Pokemon. Um, yeah, Pokemon, you know, not looking that bad. It's always a cool set, I think. I always like Charizard. Got the sleeping Pikachu down there. And yep, I think that's about it. Okay, so we're here on the uh, collector section and check it out. They dropped off some of the Vader that we picked up last time. Huh, kind of want to scan them, see if they got any cheaper. Uh, moving over to the NECA section. Let's see what we got. We got some old Black Adam page puncher. We got Disruptor from Spawn. I don't even know who that is, to be honest with you. Uh, some Bitty Pops 4 minions. We got a little bit of gargoyles. We got TMNT. Alright, who's this? Huh, Kino. Alright. Uh, we got some aliens. We got not a whole lot else. A little bit of Gundam, a little bit of Naruto, Jaws. Um, some Funkos on clearance. And yeah, that is, that's really gonna do it. Hey Troopers, we're at our home base, uh, Ross. It's, it's been a while actually since I've been here, so let's see what they got. Okay, so here at the home base, uh, Ross, not a whole lot, but a couple of good things. Got a point dread and talent fighter. Really good shape, honestly. How much are these going for? Let's see, it is 15 bucks, not too bad. Um, let's see, we got some turtles over here. On a bike, how much is these? Eight bucks, eh, I don't know about that. We got Funko for Boca 10, five bucks. That was kind of cool. Um, let's see what else we got. We got Tokyo Ghoul. Down here we got the oh the Crimson Firehawk. Yeah, that line is really not doing great, is it? Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got some Witcher. Oh, we got Geralt in his uh, Witcher form, I guess. It's kind of cool. How much is this? Wow. Four ninety. It's an odd price. It's kind of cool though. Five bucks for a just not a bad figure. Got a giant Broly. That big fig. Look at that. That is a big fig. Very cool. Uh, let's see what else do we got down here. We got some more Young Jedi Adventures on clearance for five bucks. We got some bus. We got some Bandai down here from Visions. Yep. Okay, one of the twins, uh, 15 bucks. Yeah, that's gonna be a new. Mm, let's see. Yeah, I don't really see much else. Let me check out on this other side. Okay, so second half of the toys here. Um, got another Boca 10. Some Hot Wheels, some Nerf stuff, some Evil Queen. Let's see what else. What else? What do we got? Come on. Yeah, and I don't know what to tell you guys. We've got a J.I. Joe Funko. Veronik. All right. Um, yeah, not not a whole lot. Oh, another Geralt. Oh, so you can have both the regular and the uh, witch version for five bucks. You know, for ten bucks, you could take both of them. Uh, but yeah, guys, I don't know what to tell you. It's really not a whole lot. Hello, the troopers, and welcome back into the bunker. Thank you for joining me on this hunt. Okay, so Target. Um, honestly, I thought Target was gonna restock like weeks ago by this point. Um, we still didn't see any Marvel out there. No Transformers, um, no Jurassic World, and you know, very little GI Joe. We did see a little bit of new GI Joe now that I think about it. But um, yeah, I don't know when this restock is coming because as you saw, the shelves are actually empty, which is kind of crazy. Um, let's not even go, you know, into Star Wars, I guess. Um, I do keep hoping that some of that exclusive Micro Galaxy Squadron goes on clearance soon because honestly, they're not selling. They're built big, bulky items. And I wouldn't mind picking up a couple of those. There's there's the, um, the Return of the Jedi, you know, Millennium Falcon with the TIE Interceptors. There is also, of course, the uh, at, at not exclusive to Target, but I keep hoping that that one goes on clearance 
um, let me know that in the comments if it's going on clearance in your area that means that maybe it'll hit mine soon also no holothon anymore i felt that that one was like you know a week that was there and then it was just kind of gone Funko and NECA well I should say NECA really um nothing too major either right so just waiting for that restock so we'll see um but like I said in my opinion it's long long overdue but the flip side of the coin is that uh we did actually have a pickup at Target right we'll talk about it uh in the whole portion of the video now Walmart Walmart is uh, is doing not too bad actually because they are still going strong with the clearance So if there's items that you've been interested in but price has stopped you I would say go out and check out your Walmarts. There's some good stuff that is still hitting clearance So this time around we saw a lot of TMNT merch go on clearance. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna go lower um, There is a lot of it still so if there's any items within TMNT that you've been holding off on, I would say now it's a good time to go out there and check your Walmarts. Um, it wasn't heavily discounted yet, but I think it's coming. And I got to be honest with you, I'm a little bit glad that it's happening. TMNT merch just hasn't been moving. And, and I'm talking about more on the um, on the new movie merch, right? The animated movie. The, the retro stuff seems to you know move fine but definitely not not the new stuff so i think it's fair you know to go ahead and put it on clearance let's start making some space uh you know for new items or new uh new lines even walmart also was not too bad when it comes to the transformers at least in quantity and um yeah i can't speak for how new those figures are but at least there was something as opposed to target um and i was actually kind of surprised that they had a healthy amount of Godzilla uh, X-Kong merch. I thought that line was basically done and I didn't think we were going to see a restock, but I think, you know, this Walmart particularly uh, definitely had one because there was quite a bit on there on shelves and variety too. We saw the mask, we saw the bigger figures, the electronic ones, um, the battle pack. So there was a healthy amount of Godzilla X-Kong there. So yeah, I was I was pleasantly surprised. And speaking of things that I didn't think we were gonna see anymore is uh, GI Joe, GI Joe classified on a card, which I absolutely love the way they look. I don't collect GI Joe classifieds, as you know. Um, I have one. That's it. But if I would, it would definitely be the ones on the card. You know me. I'm a sucker for a card back. I'm a sucker for that retro look. But also, you know, the figures are good. And man, they get a ton of accessories. I mean, we counted what, like something like seven accessories on that one Scarlet figure. Kind of crazy, okay? Which makes sense. I know this is Hasbro's own IP, so they can, you know, go the extra mile with the accessories. But it is good to see for sure. And what I meant about being surprised is that that first wave of um, carded classifieds, you know, exclusive to Walmart, of course, they didn't do too hot okay um you can still find them in some clearance aisles i think i saw some of them uh last time that i was there so i'm curious to see how this one is gonna do with um with Dracondo, with duke so i'm hoping it does better i think gi joe classifieds is a good line um overall of course there's there's hits and misses but when it comes to the carded uh representation of them i i love that they're doing that that brings me back to my childhood, you know, when when G.I. Joe's came in a car like that. And like I said, I think, you know, I think they have a good product on their hands. Maybe just not make it a Walmart exclusive. Maybe that would help. I don't know what, what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments if you guys uh, collect G.I. Joe classified and if the retro carded ones are even desirable. I'm actually very curious to see how it's received within the G.I. Joe community. Now going into superhero realm, uh, Marvel still gone, man. There's there's just nothing there. We did see, I guess, like what, like two or three Marvel Legends, um, old ones, of course. So yeah, what's what's going on with Marvel? Um, I feel that they're definitely sleeping. Of course, you know, in the toy house, but also just overall, right? I I haven't been excited for a Marvel movie in a long time, so I really hope they can get their you know their their former formula retooled uh or whatever they need to do to get their mojo back because i kind of miss the marvel excitement 
And same thing with the figures. Um, it just kind of seems like they're rehash, uh, repaints, or like a more obscure character, which sometimes it's fine, but you kind of have to give us, you know, uh, exciting figures to go along as well. Now DC, uh, we didn't see too much, but with this, it's a few uh, new things. That uh, Nightwing Vampire Gold Label from McFarlane DC Multiverse, it's pretty cool. Those sculpts are fun, okay? What I've seen, you know, I remember seeing the uh, the Vampire Superman. That one's pretty good looking too. So yeah, those are, in my opinion, those are fun figures. Um, I don't know how hard that one is gonna be to come by. Uh, there were a few there at the Walmart, so probably not that hard, but it is a cool sculpt. Uh, moving over to superpowers. We did see a few new things. I don't think I've seen that Blue Beetle. And I, I kind of really like that they uh, did Kilowog in that style. Kilowog is one of those um, characters that's beloved, you know, by the fandom. And he doesn't get a whole lot of love when it comes to action figures. So, again, I was pleasantly surprised to see him uh, in the line. Okay, now Star Wars, of course. Nothing. How can I say it? because I'm having a hard time saying nothing new, but technically we did see the new Paz Vizsla, you know, slight paint variation, new packaging. And, and the bad thing about that is that it's actually a good figure overall. It's a good black series figure. Uh, Paz Vizsla, I think it's a good character. It This one is it's basically a repackaging, right? It's just like a re-release in my mind. So I don't know how many people missed out, you know, on the original one. Uh, if you did, I definitely do recommend picking one of them up. But I think at this point, this is what the fourth version we get. Because um, we had the original, we had the credit collection, we had the carbonized, and now, now this one in the Galaxy packaging. So again, I'm not sure how many people missed out. I do recommend everybody to have at least one past Vizsla in their collection. Yeah, I just don't see these being too, too popular. Now, if they would have given us, you know, extra blast effect, I don't know, maybe a slight variation or a battle damage of that, you know, of his uh, iconic scene towards the end of season three of Mandalorian, they would have given me a battle damage past Vizsla. I probably would have picked it up, to be honest with you. But again, this one is basically a re-release in my mind, so it was easy to pass. Besides that, uh, the only other thing I think worth of note is that uh, Galactic Heroes is going on sale. So they're down from like 10 bucks down to like seven and change. So this is interesting. If they get, you know, maybe a couple bucks lower, I think I'm gonna pick up one or two of them just to review here on the channel. Of course, we shouldn't expect too much. They are very basic figures, but I'm curious, you know, to see how the paint applications are. Um, and how the molds, you know, stack up. Maybe those could be good for a little customization, right? I'm interested in the Stormtrooper, of course, and maybe even a Vader. Um, the Stormtrooper looks good overall, you know, from the outside, of course. Now, it seems that it's across the Epic Heroes line uh, because we saw the, what is it? The Sabine Deluxe uh, version, and that one was going on sale too. That one's kind of cool. It's got some cool accessories. Actually, the Paz Vizsla in that line is not too bad. So again, if they go a little bit lower, I might pick one or two uh, up and just do a quick review here in the channel. And speaking of holding on to hope that it goes lower in price. Yes, you've heard me say it before. I'll say it again. The at, -AT from Micro Galaxy Squadron. I keep hoping that it goes on clearance. It's still full price at my Walmart and my Target. So if anybody out there watching has seen it go on actual clearance, I know there's been a couple of sales where they're discounted, but I mean, actual clearance, let me know in the comments, okay? I just wanna know that it's happening and that hopefully it'll show up in, you know, that kind of clearance will show up uh, for us soon here. Uh, Cause yeah, I would not mind picking one of those up for sure. And the last thing of note is the uh, Turtles of Grayskull. Those figures are pretty, okay? Uh, I don't collect them. I'm not a big, you know, Moto guy or anything like that. But man, that packaging, it, they've done really well. Those those box arts, those colors just pop. And of course, you know, the figures inside have been, I think, decent in matching the aesthetics. I'm not a, you know, huge fan of the crossover uh, type of thing or mashup, right? It makes sense, you know, two big properties from, from the 80s. So it had to happen at, at some point. 
I'm actually a little bit surprised it hasn't happened before or not this way anyway. But I do have to give them credit. The um, the figures are, are fun. You know, the colors are very, very cool. The designs and like I said, the box art and the box, you know, the packaging is just super, super nice. I I find myself drawn to them, you know, like I always got to if whenever I see one, I always got to pick it up, check out the, the back of the box and stuff like that, which is something that doesn't really happen very often anymore. Okay, and we stopped at Ross. I actually haven't been there. Uh, this is the home base, Ross. And yeah, it was pretty disappointing. I think really the only thing to note is that they did have the, that couple of Witcher figures and both Geralt of Rivia, which is cool. You know, the Witcherized version and, and the regular version. And they were five bucks each. So I thought that was a good deal, you know, for a McFarlane figure. Um, I don't know how popular the Witcher line was. I don't think it was super, super popular, but still, you know, for five bucks, it's a good figure. Um, 10 bucks if you want to get both versions. So, and especially now that Henry Cavill is no longer the Witcher, right? It's no longer Geralt. Maybe that would have been a good pickup, you know, uh, to hold on for posterity. I don't know if prices would go up and stuff like that. Toys are very volatile. Um, it's very hard to actually pinpoint which ones will go up in price and which ones will just crash. Um, but that's a whole other topic for another time. All right, so now let's go into the whole portion of the video. And yes, very light on the pickups in this hunt. Um, it was a quick hunt, but we still found um, a couple good things. And I'm gonna start off here by something that uh, you didn't see on camera because I didn't find it. <laughs> I've said it before, I'll say it many, many more times. My wife is the best toy hunter I know. So she found this little guy here from Micro Galaxy Squadron, the troop transport. And it was on clearance. You can see that right there for seven bucks. So she picked it up for me uh, from Walmart. It is busted. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there is, you know, already a busted front here in the bubble. So of course we're going to be opening this guy. We know we'll crack it open. Ha, get it? Crack it open. Anyway, uh, very cool. You know, it comes with a couple of stormtroopers. Um, it's a cool, you know, little design because this come from the classic Kenner toy that they later incorporated into the Mandalorian. So yeah, for seven bucks, I think this was a good pickup. And now for my only uh, pickup at Target, picked up this guy so this is the uh the gauntlet my uh from i was gonna say micro galaxy squadron this is from um hot wheels starship select right so this is the mandalorian ship and uh i like that it comes with the night owls crest on the top so i thought that was cool i'm still very much liking this hot wheels but i gotta be honest with you i i kind of have too many if, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I went all in into these ones. So I wasn't missing a single one. I have all the chases except the latest one, which is the ghost, the battle damage ghost. But I really have to start, you know, being a lot more selective. So this one was definitely one that I've been looking forward to for a long time. I have not picked up the Inquisitor ship. I have not picked up the, um, the Anakin Skywalker Jedi Interceptor. Like I said, I'm... These are, these are nice, but they're kind of bulky, so they take up a lot of space. I already have quite a few, and I, you know I haven't been able to properly display them. So yeah, I need to sort of dial it back when it comes to uh, how many I pick up. But this one was a must in my book. All right, and that is gonna do it for this hunt, troopers. Thank you so much for joining me again. Uh, let me know down in the comments, what are you guys hunting for? Also, I have to say thank you um, every time that I can because the channel has had unprecedented growth. So thank you so much to all those new subscribers. Thank you for uh, giving me a chance. And I hope that you guys are enjoying it. I hope that you enjoy the content. I hope that you stick around. And I also hope that you recommend us to people you think would enjoy us. So thank you again for that. It's been, it's been pretty crazy. Okay, the month of May has been just bonkers. There is a giveaway coming up very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. I think it's going to be a fun one. So thank you again. Don't forget to leave us your like on this video. 
Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much if you already have. And remember, the negotiations will be short.